Yo, what's good, YTBC? What's good, fight fans, boxing heads around the world? B Marsh with another boxing video. July 15th, Nashville Coliseum, Long Island, New York. We're going to have a fight between Robert the Ghost Guerrero, former champion at what, 126, 130, 135, and 147. You know what I'm saying? Robert Guerrero is a, he's, he's quite accomplished when you really think about it, man. You know, the man jumped from 135 to 147, skipped 140, and, you know, he got a world title up there, you know? As people talk about, about the Robert Guerrero, Ghost Guerrero like he's some garbage, you know? I mean, he's fading, no doubt. The man is not a youngster, but um, Robert Go the Ghost Guerrero is a good fighter in his, in his heyday, you know what I mean? Well, he's going to be fighting against Omar Figueroa, man. You know Omar Figueroa. He's also a former champion at, uh, I believe, at 135 at lightweight. You know, he had that crazy fight a few years ago, I believe, in 2015, maybe 20, 2014. With that Japanese guy, man, and these guys went to war, you know what I mean? Well, Omar Figueroa is going to be back in the ring. He hasn't been back in the ring in a minute, man, since like 2015, I believe, when he fought the man DeMarco. You check it, um, DeMarco, that's the guy, you, you, you know, um, DeMarco, man, guy who fought Adrian Broner, guy who fought uh, Edwin Valero, you know what I'm saying, and I, I thought the man, um, Ed DeMarco won the fight against uh, Omar Figueroa, you know what I mean? Well, these two are set to battle, man, in, in the Nashville Coliseum, I heard it's been, it's been remodeled or, or been revamped, you know what I mean? And um, they're going to be hosting this boxing event there. You know, July 15th is going to be a main event on PBC on Fox. You know what I mean? That's going to be on Channel 5 Fox, you know, for the whole country to see. You know what I mean? And on the on that undercard, we're going to have uh, Marcus Brown. You know, the guy from Staten Island who just beat up a, a guy from the from my area out here, from the D.C. Maryland area. He beat the shit out of Top, top, uh, top Dog Williams. You know what I mean? He gave him a spanking, you know, and uh, them two set to battle at, a, at, I'm sorry, Marcus Brown is going to be fighting Sean Monaghan, you know what I mean? Sean Monaghan is a local guy from Long Island, New York, you know what I mean? He used to be on top rank, he's now signed to Lou DiBella, and that's the guy who um, was supposedly supposed to fight the man, um, Adonis Stevenson, after, what's his name, I priced himself out, what's his name, um, Joe Smith Jr., you know what I mean, so Marcus Brown versus Sean Monaghan, and they're supposed to have another fight on that undercard, uh, damn, um, supposedly Jamal Herring, you know, the guy, former, uh, he's a guy who used to be in the army or whatever, um, I can't remember where he's from. I think he's probably like 15 and 1. His last fight was with Dennis Shafikov, and Dennis Shafikov beat him up like a high school kid beating up a fourth grader. You know what I mean? He beat the shit out of Jamel Herring. Shafikov put hands on Jamel Herring. You know what I mean? That was not even a, a competitive fight. You know what I'm saying? The guy was totally outclassed. You know what I mean? And uh, supposedly. Uh, Jamal Harris is going to be fighting Jose Pedraza on that card, although it's not been confirmed. But that's uh, supposedly a fight happening on that card. There's another fight I'm quite forgetting right now, man. Jesus Christ, man. There's another fight supposed to be happening on that card. Who is it? Um, oh, yeah, Arthur Spilka is supposed to be fighting some other undefeated heavyweight guy based out of Brooklyn, you know what I mean? Arthur Spilka himself hasn't been back in the ring since uh, Deontay Wilder, you know, baptized him and cut his lights off, you know what I mean, out there at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, you know what I mean? So, you know, um, the card is decent. I'm, I'm still wondering why they would have Robert the Ghost Guerrero, a guy from California, um, from fighting against Omar Figueroa, another Hispanic guy from from Texas, you know what I mean? I, I don't quite understand this um, location for this fight. It's a good fight, you know. I'm looking forward to seeing this fight, you know what I mean? Um, Robert the Ghost Guerrero came off a loss to a, a, a literal cab driver, an actual cab driver from where? Was he from Argentina, a guy named Peralta or something, you know what I mean? And uh, Robert Gu the Ghost Guerrero has been fading. Before that, he lost, a, he lost a close fight, in my opinion, to Danny Garcia, you know what I mean? He also lost a close fight to a guy like Keith Thurman, you know. 
Uh, he arguably lost to Aaron Martinez, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, so, you know, the Ghost Guerrero's been struggling, man. But um, this is a good cl crossroads fight for him, you know what I mean? I mean, the guy Omar Figueroa, I thought he lost to DeMarco, you know what I'm saying? But, again, I still question the location of this fight. I'm looking forward to it, but this fight would be generally more suited for um, places like California or Texas, man, you know what I'm saying, where these two guys have, you know, they have their fan bases, you know what I mean? The only guy who's really the hometown guy in this fight is Sean Monaghan from Long Island, and he's going to be fighting against the Staten Islander, Marcus Brown. You know Marcus Brown who beat the shit out of, um, the hot, um what's his name, Top Dog Williams, who, who who got laid out by, Top Dog Williams got laid out also by Donna Stevenson. But Marcus Brown, in my opinion, should have one loss, you know what I mean, when he lost to that, when he, uh, he got a dubious decision over that kid uh, from Florida via Bosnia. What was his name? Hot, Hot Rod Dojo or something, man. Hot Rod Radovic Dojo. I, I can't pronounce his name, man. It's quite difficult. But um, this was happening July 15th at the National Coliseum in uh, Long Island, New York. You know what I mean? Let me know what y'all think about this fight. Do you guys like this fight? Do you like this card? It's not a bad card. Uh, I just question the location for the main event, you know what I mean? These two Hispanic guys are not from Long Island. They're not from New York City, you know what I'm saying? They're from the West Coast, you know what I mean? They're from three uh, uh, three hour time difference from New York, you know what I mean? So, you know, I, I, I would have liked this fight to be at the Starbuck. Man, if this fight was at the Starbuck with Omar Figueroa and, and the Ghost, Lord have mercy, man, we're going to see a fight of the year candidate for sure. We might see it in Long Island, too, with these two guys, but I could almost guarantee that shit would have happened hard body with the candidate of fight of the year if it happened in um, the stop hub, you know what I mean? Be Marsh Boxing, let me know what y'all think about this fight, and I'm going to catch you on the next bit. Be Marsh Boxing, I'm out. Thanks for listening. Peace.